Hi everyone, this is Sean from the Bid for Assets Client Services team. In this video, I'll be taking you through an auction page on the Bid for Assets platform and showing you how to place a bid. Here we have a good representation for what a standard auction page on Bid for Assets will look like. At the top of the page, uh, the minimum bid is displayed in what's called a bid box. And beneath that, you'll see some basic information on the auction, such as the start time and start date, as well as the closing time and closing date. Uh, you'll also see the overtime period is displayed here. Now, if you ever wanted to check whether the sale that you're looking at is a private auction or a government auction, meaning the seller for the auction is a private individual or a government entity, you'll find that information displayed here next to source. This is true for every auction available on the website. Beneath this basic auction information, you'll see three tabs, ask seller a question, view seller's other items, and add to watch list. Uh, the ask seller a question tab opens up a message center that allows you to communicate any questions that you have about the property directly to the seller. View seller's other items, uh, as it indicates, uh, demonstrates the other items that the seller has listed on the site at the moment. And finally, add to watch list um, allows you to access the auction directly from your accounts main page. Uh, this can save you time, allowing you to get to the auction a little bit more quickly in the future. And it's especially useful if you're bidding on multiple auctions at once. Uh, down below the, those tabs, uh, you'll see some basic uh, asset information that's been provided by the seller, as well as some images. Not all sellers include images in their auctions, but in many cases, they are available to assist you with due diligence. Uh, something that I want to note here is that most sellers on bid for assets tend to buy and sell property in bulk. And with that in mind, it is extremely important that you perform your own due diligence on any property you find on the site prior to bidding. This involves researching the property's title status and, if possible, going to visit the property. Bid for Assets has provided an hour-long video guide to performing due diligence on potential investment properties. And we've included a link to that video in the description below. All the way at the bottom of the auction page um, is where you'll see the settlement details provided by the seller. Unless otherwise stated in the auction, typically payment is due within five days of the auction closing. You see that for this auction, it's actually uh, three calendar days. Uh, and it looks like the payment methods stated by the seller are certified check and wire transfer. You'll always want to consult the auction terms uh, for information on settlement. So once you have uh, all the information that you need on the property, you've researched it thoroughly, uh, you can return to the top of the auction page to begin bidding. If you look at the bid box, you'll see that the minimum bid is already pre-entered uh, for this auction. It's $19,000 and the bid increment is set to $100. Bid for Assets bidding system allows you to bid one of two ways. You can either continually bid up manually by increments or you can place a bid for the maximum amount you'd be willing to pay for the item. If you do that, the system will automatically bid up to that amount for you. As an example, let's say that the maximum amount you'd be willing to pay for an item is $40,000. You could enter that bid um, for that amount and the system would first register it for this auction as the minimum bid of $19,000. And if nobody else bids on the auction, you would win it for $19,000. What that $40,000 maximum does is it allows the system to automatically bid up to that amount until either the auction closes and you win the property or bidding exceeds your maximum. At that point, you would be notified that you've been outbid and you would have the option to increase your bid if you wanted to. 
Now to place an auto bid, all you have to do is click on the amount displayed in the bid box and replace it with your maximum amount and then select place bid. Um, doing this uh, brings up the confirmation box and before you can confirm your bid, you'll need to select the three boxes displayed here. The first box confirms that you've done your due diligence on the property to your satisfaction. The second confirms that you agree to bid for assets terms of service. And the third confirms that you will allow your credit card to be charged a $250 non-payment fee in the event that you win a property, but do not follow through with the payment. Um, something to note here is that in a government auction, there would not be a $250 non-performance fee in the event of non-payment. Instead, you would forfeit your bid deposit. Now, in order to confirm a bid, uh, you'll see that you also need to provide a valid credit card. Um, now, the only circumstances under which this card would ever be charged is if you were to win an auction and for whatever reason, once again, not follow through with the payment. Again, in that event, your card would be charged a $250 non-performance fee. And again, this does not apply to government sales. In that case, you would instead forfeit your bid deposit. Uh, so finally, uh, after you've entered a credit card and checked the three boxes, you can enter your bid for assets password uh, to confirm your bid and then select bid now. Obviously, we're not going to do that here. Um, but after you have placed your bid, uh, you will get an email alert as well as an alert in your bid for assets message center confirming the bid. Your bid for assets message center is accessible from the main page of your bid for assets account. You'll also receive notifications there whenever you are outbid or if an auction closes with you as the winning bidder. We hope this video was helpful for you and we wish you the best of luck with your next auction on Bid for Assets. Take care.